Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're, we're taking a look at my favorite car in iRacing. It is the Porsche Cup car uh, 992. Uh, I've been just having a blast in this car and I just wanted to take it around the Nordschleife for, for a cruise and tell you all about it. Why it's my favorite car, why I like it so much and, and why I think it's, it's one of the most why is the best value for money in iRacing? First of all, it's 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 a pretty difficult car um, to even drive like a normal person. And as you can see, I'm still not very good at it. I'm just turning it around corners and, and but just turning it just driving it around a track like the Nordschleife. Well anywhere actually. It's just so much fun. And because you've you've had that learning curve with it, because you've you've had that time to, to get to know each other, it's uh it's it's a little bit flirtatious even. You say, hey, how are you? You look like a nice car. Can I drive you maybe? And the car just says, well, Okay, can, can you drive me? Can you hand if you can't handle the Porsche Cup car at its worst, you don't deserve it at its best. That's uh, <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, it's it's just such a fun. Um, if you're if you're used to GT3 cars with all their assists, and yeah, just everything about a GT3 car. GT3 cars are hell hell of a lot of fun to drive but they're not they don't have that learning curve anymore for me for for someone who's been sim racing for for a couple of years now they don't have that learning curve anymore and it feels so rewarding to actually learn to drive oh geez learn to drive a, a, a car while, while the first laps you're spinning and spinning and crashing the car, you're locking up the brakes and then after a while you get a feel for how, how far you can push down that brake pedal before the wheels lock up. You know what to listen for in the car and it, it makes it you feel so connected to that car because you you went through all the trouble to get to know it and, and and learn how to drive it and then when you're racing it you feel constantly on a nice edge like especially my first race uh, at Laguna Seca with this car it was just I don't want to push the pedals too far down because when I'm When I'm accelerating, I don't want it. I don't want the car to spin. But also, when I come up to that, to the corkscrew, I don't want to push the pedal, the brake pedal, down too much, because I don't want to overshoot that corner. And you really got to find a well-balanced approach to it, where you're still going fast, but you're not locking up, not spinning out, and and just learning all that. It. it makes me feel so connected to this car I I, I love the the Ferrari uh, GT3 the 488 GT3 I love the the Porsche 911 GT3 as well but I, I, I never connected with them as much as as this car and I think it's because because that shared I, I want to say grief but just going through hell with each other you know and and i think it's it's a special car that can offer that so that's why i love it so much but it's also besides having that learning curve once you're past that learning curve it feels so natural to drive you know and of course oh i thought i was gonna overshoot the corner uh, when i say it feels so <laughs> natural to drive immediately just crash the car no but it, it because you learn it so 
so well. Well, I'm not I'm not an expert at it com completely, but I'm 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 a higher authority on on the Porsche Cup cars. Uh, I would say <laughs> no. Uh, it's it's just because you get you, you fail so much with it because you crash so much with it. You you really get to understand the limits and it becomes a second nature. You don't push it. You don't ask too much of the car and. It, it, it just becomes you and the car against that track, you know? And that's just a hell of a lot of fun, I think. Jumping over... Oh, oh. Ooh, that was a little dangerous. Jumping over hoops. Uh, huddles. How do you say that? The bends and... and the thingamajigs in the... In the road. It's just a lot of fun to... Especially this part of the Norch life. It's it's a lot of fun to drive with these cars. So if you're wondering what sh what car should I buy next? What what should I invest in next season? I, I would highly suggest the Porsche Cup car. It's so much fun. And the race I think because they've got such a learning curve. At least the race I did, people were so respectful to each other. No one was crying or or shouting in voice chat. Nobody was there there were very little people crashing into each other. And I think that's because everybody understands I'm here to drive this wonderful car to the best of my ability. Let's see if I can drive better better than you. And it just felt like a real gentlemanly race. So the racing with the Porsche Cup cars, it's good. How it drives, it's wonderful. That learning curve makes you feel connected to the car. And it looks beautiful as well. So that's it's got that going for it as well. So yeah, let me know what you think about the Porsche Cup car and uh, I hope you enjoyed my little take on it and this relaxed drive around the Norch Life. I think I'm going to take it for uh, for another round. But uh, I hope to see each and every one of you beautiful baby boys and girls in the next video. And of course, a big shout out to my channel members. Arthur Cabral, Alex Fleming, JP Kelly, Volker Pfeiffer. Um, I'm from Noisy Cricket as well. Thank you guys so much for still supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, with that out of the way, love you guys and see you in the next video. Aito. <laughs>